G'day and welcome to Matt's workshop. In this video for the DIY laser build, we're going to be looking at the mechanical part set, the internal sliding rails. There are three main types of rails that you can use for your laser machine for the X and Y axis, and these are the inner sliding rails, outer sliding rails, and linear rails. So which do you need for your laser machine? Well, the inner and outer rails are pretty much the same performance wise, and they're quite a bit cheaper than the linear rails. Now, both the inner and outer rails are faster and more stable at high speed, like you would use for engraving, but they don't offer the same precision as the linear rails. So therefore, inner and outer sliding rails are able to run at higher speeds to increase productivity, but it can reduce the actual cutting accuracy. So also with the inner sliding rail, if the working environment is dusty, like in a woodwork shop, and you don't keep the rails well maintained, dust can accumulate in the tracks. So in that sort of environment, those rails are not suitable. The linear rails have a higher cutting accuracy, so they're recommended where high precision is required, such as cutting acrylic or fine parts production. So I got my internal sliding rails for my X and Y axis from uh, Cloudray Laser, and they come as a kit with all the mirror mounts and things like that. So I'm gonna go through and show you what comes in that kit, and then we'll look at the assembly. So let's have a look at the components of the internal sliding rails. So we have the two y-axis rails, one x-axis rail here at the back, uh, two carriage blocks, y-rail stands. These stands on this end have the synchronous gear included as part of the mount. We have a few extra synchronous gears, some belt, the back here we have a motor mount that goes at the end of the x-axis rail. We have the laser head. We have two drive shafts which meet with these two couplings and the motor mount. The motor mount already has the belt attached. At the back here we have the laser tube mount which will take a 50 to an 80 millimeter laser tube. And they have height adjustment on those. Over here we have the first mirror mount the second mirror mount. Okay, so what I've done now is just quickly laid it out on the bench here in the rough orientation of where it's all going to be assembled. So let's get it all together. Okay, so this component we're going to assemble now is the sliding carriage that goes inside the rail. You will see that you will need four bearings and two cam bolts. The cam bolts have the thread off center and it allows you to adjust the bearing against the rail and keep it nice and secure. So the way that we install it is first of all we have two recesses for the cam bolts. So we'll just pop one cam bolt in there, grab a bearing and a bolt and thread it into the cam nut. Repeat that for the other one with the cam nut on it. The last two bearings just get attached directly to the carriage. We go in the outside threads on the opposite side. So the way that we get this inside the rails is we just loosen the one with the cam bolts on them, loosen them both, just a fraction. Now these cam nuts have the center hole which is actually off center so we need to turn the nut so that the center hole is actually towards the center of the carriage. And just tighten them up just a fraction. Then you just have to grab. That should now allow us to roll it into the rail. So once it's inside the rail because we don't want it to slop around. We now turn these until the center line is a bit closer and it starts to grab on the edge of the rail. We want it to be able to run freely up and down the carriage, nice and smoothly. And now to tighten these cam nuts in place, we'll need a smaller Allen key and tighten the two small nuts on the outside of the top of the cam nut and tighten them down and that will lock that in place. 
And that's the first one done and we repeat that for the other one. So when you put in these rail carriages, make sure that you put the cam nuts on the inside edge of the rail. And we do the same for the laser head carriage, which is already attached to the laser head. So it again has the two recesses there for cam nuts. So we'll pop the cam nuts in and attach the bearings in the same way that we attached them for the other carriage rails. And then once it's all finished, we turn it over and adjust it onto the X-rail. So we've got the X-rail here, sliding the laser head in. And we don't want any movement in that, otherwise we get bad cuts, so we make sure we tighten these. So once it's all assembled, it moves nice and smoothly. There's no movement whatsoever in that um, carriage rail. After you've got the carriage guides in, what we need to do is attach the rail mounts or rail stands. This one has the gear attached, which is the front one. I'm just using the assembly bolts that they've provided, bolt it all together. So this is the first Y-rail setup. We have the gear mount at the front, nice and secure. We have the sliding carriage with the bearings, the midline mount, and at the back we have the a drive shaft with the gear all attached. And now we just need to repeat this for the other Y-rail. So earlier we put in these rail carriages, which have got the bearings underneath, and we put the cam nuts on the inside rail. And that's so that when we attach it to the X-rail, that later on if we need to, we'll be able to access that cam nut through this uh, hole here. So now we're going to attach this piece here. We need to have it mounted, and I don't really want to have this weight hanging on the middle, so that is something we'll do later. But to attach this, you just loosen the nuts on the outside, the screws on the outside, and then you'll be able to slide that onto the shaft on both sides. But we need to find a secure mount for it, and I don't want to wreck the rods, so I'm going to leave this unattached at the moment. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is put in the belts for these Y-axis rails. So the way you do that is you get the belt, and you feed it through the back, all the way through to the front through the centre of the rail. Once you've fed the belt through, then what you want to do first of all is just loosen off the front bolts here. So just loosen those off, that allows you to give tension on it later on. So these two, just loosen those. Then make sure that the belt is in the centre of the clamp so that it runs nice and smooth and straight. And then clamp it down, nice and tight. So we do the same with this one, let's loosen them off a couple of turns. And pulling the belt nice and tight, bring it up and you can cut that, feeding that one through after it's been cut to length. Just pull it as tight as you can, making sure it's on the gears at the front and the back, and clamp that one down. So once the belt's been clamped front and back, now we can tighten these back in, and it will pull the belt nice and taut. And then we can do the same on this one, just tighten them in. And there we go, so the belt's been tightened in place, it's nice and tight, and um, got both sides done now, and it's running nice and smoothly. The second mirror mount comes assembled with the mirror mount on it and the belt pulley, and that gets attached to the X-rail using four bolts. And on the other 
end of the X rail goes the motor mount. The motor mount hangs down underneath and is fitted with four bolts. So the next thing that we need to do is install the belt on the x-axis rail and we do that in the same method as we did for the y-axis rails, feed the belt all the way through and clamp down in the same method. So there are two gears that come with it as well. So this gear will go on the y-axis motor which already has the belt attached. When the y-axis motor goes there, the gear will go on to that belt. The other belt and gear will go onto the other stepper motor when it's attached to this mount. So thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this uh, laser build series and um, I will put a link to my website in the description below where you can find more information and specs on the laser machine that I'm building here in my workshop. And I'll also be providing links below in the description for the parts I'm using for the machine as well. I'll put there the link to Cloudray Laser's website, uh, my web store and my social media links. If you have any questions that you'd like answered, leave those in the comments below or send me an email. The address is also in the description below. If you haven't already subscribed, press the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos for this laser build series. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, take care. Cheers.